hi guys welcome to today's video in today's video we are going to be learning a simple prototyping tricks that let us create a fixed and dynamic top navigation bar so we have this top navigation bar with white text and as soon as we scroll to other sections of the page we have a different navigation bar with dark text and um, a navigation background as you can see and if we go back to the showcase section we can see it returns back to the transparent states of the top navigation bar so without further ado, let's get right into the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Alright guys, so in order to achieve that prototype, we are going to be making use of this digital agency design that we see right here. And if I open up the layers of this design, you're going to see I have a page inside of this home page um, desktop frame here. And this page basically contains all the sections in this design, including our navigation menu, which is a component, as you can see at the top here, that has three different variants, right? So in order to achieve this, the first thing we are going to do is to make our header section fixed. So if I go ahead to play this prototype, we're just going to give it a moment to come up. All right, here we have the prototype. I'm just going to move the prototype to my browser um, I like to view the prototype in my browser so that I have a better view of what it's going to look like um, in reality. So guys, if I go ahead to scroll, you're going to notice that the navigation bar is currently not fixed and it scrolls along with the page. So the first thing we are going to fix is to make this navigation bar a fixed component, right? So I'm going to go back to our designs. And to make this navigation bar a fixed component, the first thing we are going to do is to make sure that this navigation bar is a top level component. So because it's not top level, the only top level component is this page frame here. And if you are going to make this nav bar a top level component, we are going to have to bring it to the top of this layer. So we have the page and the nav bar component. If we don't do this, you're going to notice that if I click on the nav bar component and go to prototype, we won't have the position option to create like a fixed position for this navigation bar because it's not a top level component. But as soon as we move it to a top level component, you're going to see that this position option then shows up. Then we can click on this and set it to fixed. So once it's fixed, you're going to see we have two sections, which is the fixed and the scroll. And at this point, the navigation bar is fixed. So I'm going to go back to our prototype and try to scroll. You can see now that our navigation bar is fixed. But as you can see, the text in the navigation bar is white because it's transparent by default. So it's hiding um, behind some of the text and the background of this particular design. So what we want to do is to change this particular nav bar as soon as we scroll to a section where we want the nav bar to be visible. So I'm going to go back to the design and in order to achieve this, what we are going to need to do is to create a duplicate of this home page. So I'm going to hold down option, click and drag to create a duplicate of this home page. And what we are going to do next is to make sure we change the nav bar of this second option. So I'm going to select this navigation bar, go to the design option and change the variant of this nav bar to white. So here we have um, the transparent nav bar and here we have the white nav bar. So from here, basically what we want to do is to switch from this transparent version to the white version using a particular trigger. And the trigger here is going to be this particular showcase section. So this showcase section is what we are going to be using to transition to this other design and back um, depending on what we are doing. So I'm going to select this showcase section basically contains the text and the image that we have on this design. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to go to the prototype and I'm going to create an interaction. This interaction is going to be mouse leave. So basically what I want to do is to change this page once the mouse leaves this design. And it's going to be a navigate to and what I want to navigate to is obviously the second home page. Please note, um, if you click on this information icon, you're going to see that the preserved scroll is automatically applied when top level frames have identical names or matching prefix. So please don't go ahead to rename this. If you rename this second frame that we just duplicated, you're going to have like some complications in your prototype. So you're going to have to leave it that way because the top level frame, which is this, has to have matching titles. So I'm going to go to this second frame. But before we do that, let's prototype what we have currently to see um, if it works. So I'm going to go back to our designs and I'm going to refresh this particular prototype so that we see um, the progress of what we just did. So guys, as soon as I scroll, you're going to see that um, we down switch to the other designs that have 
the uh, white navigation bar. And as soon as I refresh this page, you will notice that that action is only happening as soon as the mouse cursor leaves the showcase section. So if I just leave the showcase section, you're going to notice that this has um, turned to the white navbar. So what we are going to do now is to return this state as soon as we come back to this showcase. I'm going to go back to my design and I'm going to click on the showcase section of the second frame and I'm going to prototype it back to this um, initial design and it's obviously going to be on mouse enter because we want to create uh, we want to transition to the next design as soon as the mouse enter this showcase and yes it's going to be this home page section and we're going to leave everything just as it is so i'm going to create uh, i'm going to click on our prototype next or i'm going to go to the browser which is the prototype we are using currently and you notice that it has reversed back to the first design so as soon as I scroll, we have a proper navigation bar. And as soon as we go back to the showcase section, it returns back to the transparent navigation bar. So guys, um, we've come to the end of the video. This is how to create a fixed, dynamic, top navigation bar for your prototype. Please do not forget to like, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe if you are interested in more videos like this. Bye for now, and I'm going to see you in my next video.